Hello and all. welcome to the Math Magic Show. In this one, we're going to learn how to find the derivative of y equals 2 raised to the x squared. So the key is first to rewrite this using the e and ln functions as follows. So it's equivalent to writing y equals e to the ln of 2 times x squared. What is the reason for that? Well, the e and the ln functions are inverses. That's why you can rewrite that 2 in the base in blue that you see there as e to the ln 2. It means the same thing even though it looks a bit different to the i, but why would we do this? Because then taking it from step two forward is easier. So let's take a look at the next step. So the next step is going to be y prime will be equal to the derivative of that expression of e to the ln. If you look at this expression over here, e to the ln 2x squared, you see that you can apply the derivative rule and the chain rule basically for the e function. That's why you want to rewrite it this way. Okay, let's go on to the next step. So it's going to be now y prime will be equal to the following. e to the ln of that blue 2 times x squared so that portion is copied as usual when you find the derivative of, uh, you know, things that have e raised to some exponent in them. The next part is to then multiply by the derivative of the exponent, which would be the derivative here of ln of 2 multiplying x squared. Well, that part can be done pretty easily. Keep in mind that the ln of 2 that you see there is just a number. It's a constant. If you punch that into your calculator, it could be like a number, basically, okay? So... Whatever it happens to be, maybe a half or a 0.75, 1.2. So let's go on to the next step. It's going to look like the following. Okay, y prime will be equal to e to the ln of 2x squared. And then you're going to take that ln of 2 there and you're going to place it outside the derivative symbol. So it's going to be ln of 2 on the outside and then the derivative of x squared with the red 2 on the top. From here, you can do just is differentiate the x squared by itself. Let's carry that out. That's a simple power rule. So it's going to be y prime equals e to the ln of 2x squared times the ln of 2, times the derivative of x squared, which is just 2x. So I just bring that red 2 down and place it in front of dx, just the way you see it. At this point, we're pretty much done. What you want to do is just rewrite this in a cleaned up form. So what you may first do is just write 2 ln of 2x times e to the ln of 2x squared. So you take that ln of 2, 2x, that one, and just move it out to the front of the whole expression with the x. That's a common conventional way of writing this. And the last part to be observed is the following. That remember, e and ln functions are inverses. So if you want to restore everything to step one, to that essential form, what you can do is cancel off the e and the ln because they're inverses. And you can just write it lastly as y prime equals 2 ln of 2 x times 2 to the x squared. Just so then this here would be considered the final answer. Okay, that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. I hope it's been helpful. I'll see you in another video.